Hey guys. All right, so basically we're about 90% complete on this trailer. Uh, it's been a while since I've videoed it much of anything. So just wanted to kind of do one here that shows a little bit of of uh, everything what we've been doing uh, I'll try to go over everything so just bear with the camera movements and whatnot uh, so essentially this is the bed here's our uh, little shelves still haven't put up the cover for this yet I'm still working on that and for the two drawers here and then uh, here's one of the little ottomans uh, that I basically made uh, a little kind of looks something like that there all the way around I got to finish uh, planing the rest of the wood I don't I got a few I got to work on so but it, it's actually a pretty sturdy uh, step stool uh, to get up on the bed so uh, it does work uh, for that it's got a lid so we can store um, like dirty clothes things like that in there and then uh i just got it on this foam right now but it essentially will go all the way back here and there'll be two of them and i've just been working on the one for now uh here's our table so table there it's got two brackets sitting on the chair next to the table actually is about the perfect height here's our counter uh, and here's the plumbing so I ended up uh, combining the two water tanks so that we could have a, a water filter and then this is our water filter so this works off of the pump here's our water for sink all works off of the pump uh, so there you go and then and that's it and essentially uh, the reason I did that was because I was thinking about the hand pull um faucet like galley pump you something you'd see in a boat or something like that but we would not have a filter on that because it would be a hand pump so you'd have to I don't, I don't know if it would actually pull through the filter i don't know if it would create enough pressure so the pump will and that's why i changed it So here you can see the the floor. Uh, basically, uh, the Pergo floor. There's the uh, porta potty toilet. Uh, so we got that in. I have one more strap I have to uh, install, kind of across this way to keep it from bouncing up like that. There's a brace in the back that I built to hold it down in the back. And then this brace here holds it to the wall. But I think we're going to need another one coming across the top to keep it from bouncing around. I'm going to fill it up with water pretty soon and just drive around and see if there's leaks or anything like that. Uh, and 
you've seen the hot water heater the switches and everything for all that and then here's the shower so as you can see there's the shower curtain and there we go there's the shower and then basically pretty much can let it hang like that if we need to uh, cover that portion of it up so it does uh, does what the uh, wife wanted it to do so we're good there uh, here's the cabinets I put these little handles on and then uh, put the locks so when we're driving down the road these things will stay locked so stuff won't come out of them and fortunately they're all one key <laughs> so that makes it nice I still have two locks to go um, and I'm deciding on, unfortunately, which of the three doors I'm going to put on, either these two or this one. And then maybe we just buy one, like, child-proof guy and just put it inside here. And then we can do the two locks on this one here. I don't know yet. I'm not sure how that's going to work probably put the two locks here unless i can figure out a way to do one lock that keeps both doors closed but i'm not sure how i'm going to do that uh so but that's pretty much it man uh, just kind of fine tuning stuff at this point a lot of little finishing items functionally it works um and then i have it, been eyeballing uh the ac unit and that will pro I'll, i will if i get when i get the unit and i do the install i will probably do a little bit more in-depth video on how i installed that onto this <laughs> well that's basically it guys i mean this thing is pretty much done so you've pretty much been with me through the whole uh, deal so this is getting pretty exciting we have uh, we're gonna be doing some testing on towing and all that stuff with it when we're you know packed up and ready to go so yeah no it's it's been a long journey and uh, we are good to go so thanks for watching So here's the two water tanks. This line here connects up here in the front of this tank. So they're basically they'll equalize between the two. I put a little uh, drain here so I can drain both tanks if I need to. Here's the garage. Uh, we have uh, the dog ramp. Uh, so the dogs can get up on off up and down off the bed since it's a pretty good uh, leap here's my spare tire uh, so this is all storage space back here uh, the top of this will probably be like lightweight storage maybe uh, b extra blankets or 
uh, like tablecloths, things like that. Uh, we have a camp stove, table, things like that will fit back here. Um, a toolbox with all the various uh, screwdrivers and wrenches and things like that that I might need. Um, a couple of the stabilizer jacks will come with us on the trips. So those will probably sit somewhere in here. Um, but we can pack it up as high as we need to and uh, fill this space up with uh, material. Um, I installed a light switch here so that gives me light in the uh, trailer um, portion and then I installed a light up there for the battery bank and whatnot. So if I need to get up into the battery bank I can kind of crawl in that way if I have to um, or I can most likely remove the tire and then get back in there if, if necessary so uh, and then I also installed a little 12 volt switch there if, if uh, uh, like for like a little air like a tire pump or something like that a little 12 volt will fit right inside that and I can air up the tires I can do all that stuff so so these two little things were kind of late additions um, as I was building out the the bed and bed frame so here's from the back I came out this morning and the batteries were about 89% and they've been charging all this morning since the sun came up so we're doing good electrical outlet there cool thing about the two water is I can fill from the side of the trailer or I can fill right here so either one will work and then they'll equalize between the two well here you go this is uh this is the trailer it is 98 percent complete and fully functional at this point so we can take it out we'll probably be doing a little test in the yard just kind of set everything up make sure everything's working see what things we bring with us that we don't need see what things we didn't bring with us and do need so definitely some testing along the way like that so all right uh the next few videos will probably be us actually in action so keep an eye out for those